Karen Manning couldn't have started the night off uh, any better. I'm not sure if she'll get any better as the night goes on because she's only got one more drive, uh, but she does have a runner that uh, she does have a runner uh, engaged a little bit later on, which we'll have a chat uh, to her about it. But uh, what a performance by Stroke of Luck. I must admit, when the fields came out, I thought from the barrier draw you were going to be in uh, quite a bit of trouble. Uh, Crockett's Cullen, who was heavily supported, looked the leader and he looks certainly going to be the horse to beat in the race. But uh, to the credit of your horse, that was the best I've seen him go tonight. Uh, he uh, mowed it home and it was a great effort. It was, Robbie. I'm, I'm in your boat. I was a bit the same when I knew he, he had to draw 13, well, because of the uh, preferential barrier job. But I thought, uh, yeah, it was going to be very, very hard even to weigh in. So, um, yeah, to his credit, the horse has gone really well. He's certainly, he had a good card up down the back and then... Um, uh, got a little bit hampered there when Mark Pitt was having a bit of trouble with a wheel, I think, and then just got through in time and then ran on really well. So, yeah, he wanted to get in a little bit out the straight, which probably cost him winning by a little bit more. He's uh, come a fair way. Uh, we saw him uh, head over to the Western Inter-Dominion Carnival, competed over there, and we spoke about his performances there. He came back uh, here and he's put in some really good runs. Uh, but tonight we saw a bit more different versatility from the horse, uh, being driven quiet and force wide but really uh, sprinted hard. Yeah, very true. He certainly, I wasn't sure either what he would do um, with a sit. I thought he would go good, but from being that far back um, after 500 metres, I thought, gee, <laughs> it's a long way to the front here. So uh, I thought we were in a bit of strife, but but yeah, like I said, he's probably, he's got a bit of class about him. He's just a little bit of a um, funny natured horse. He's, he gets a little bit nervous and um, tends to... Uh, do a few silly things, and um, but tonight he settled really well, and um, perhaps in better races with a sit, he actually might go a little way. Well done, Rocket. Great drive, and uh, good to see this horse winning for Phil, and he's been going well. He's always been a lovely horse and thoroughly deserved the win. Yeah, absolutely. Rob, it's like I had a whistle um, halfway around the bend, which was really good, but... You know, the boys, um, the owner, the owner horse, they've been uh, very patient and very loyal to Phil. So it's, you know, it's just rewarding for everyone. And um, the horse has been threatened to win one, but he's never had any luck. But he sort of got it tonight and um, he capitalised on it. He's probably just lacked that little bit of stamina, hasn't he, uh, throughout his career. He's always had a good little turn of speed. He worked through his grades. He went through a period there through the stands, I think, as well, where he was going quite nicely. And... Probably if it was a downfall for him, just that lack of uh, lack of toughness, but maybe getting a bit older now and a bit more seasoned, and we saw uh, the, the the split come for him at the right time. Yeah, spot on, Rob. You know, he's um, yeah, he's always lacked that little bit. You know, he's through his three-year-old career. He he always he was racing the uh, the probably the best, and he was always competitive with him. And he sort of had his few, uh, well, he's had his fair share of issues, and you know, Phil's just had to sort him out along the way. And it, um, you know, it's just. Reward for effort, so it's been really good. He's Great effort last start uh, tonight. Very sharp, got the right run, and he got the job done. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Yeah, he's going really good. You know, it's a tough level. Yesterday, got to have things go right in the run, and he got the perfect drag into it tonight, and there's a bit of action up front early, so it just, you know, helped him. We saw him uh, first up here back in May, uh, needed the run and came here at his second start. We thought uh, he might be just slightly underdone, but he got the job done and went to Kilmore behind Hector JJ, who was close up. And I would have thought that run would have had him uh, close to peaking uh, here this evening. Yeah, it was just three weeks between runs last week and probably just needed a bit more than we thought. And he sort of grossed doing stallion and he can get away on you pretty easy. But so we backed him up tonight and uh, yeah, he got the job done. He's a, a gross animal, isn't he? He's not big, but you can see he carries that little bit of extra pudding. Yeah, he's a beautiful colt, you know, beautiful looking horse. And uh, so you gotta, he's a great eater, so you just got to watch him. He can get away on you pretty easy, but he's a beautiful horse to handle. And, you know, Sonia's done a great job with him. Uh, you know, treats him like one of the kids, so uh, he's very spoiled. Congratulations, uh, amazing performance uh, by this uh, youngster. Uh, you would have been a little bit worried at some stage in the race, surely? Uh, no, she always travelled pretty well. Um, yeah, I was a bit surprised when we couldn't get to the front, but 
um, you know, th these races are never uh, just given to you and she had to earn it and yeah, she just kept digging and digging and the other one sort of headed her around the bend but she just was so strong and just kept fighting. Tough uh, indeed, uh, and tonight, uh, as you mentioned, uh, the lead uh, couldn't get there, the, the section was a pretty even tempo. It, she seems like she just keeps finding, uh, regardless whether she's off the bit or not. Yeah, well, that's the thing. She um, travelled really strong, turned in the back, and then um, the stable mate come around, so we had to dash her up and go to the front, and then she just got a little bit wonky on the last turn when the other one sort of put it to her, but you know, I knew once we straightened and she found that metre that she'd be able to hang on. Great win, Chris. Uh, she came in at a race. Uh, we expected her to do what she uh, did tonight. She'd given no indication leading up to it that she wasn't going to uh, win, and uh, she just proved the point that uh, once again she was fantastic last year in winning the three-year-old final, and uh, she was just too dominant in the four-year-old. Yeah, she'd just gone, you know, from strength to strength, this mare, and, you know, she'd be right up there with the best mares um, going around, you know. Now she's four, so she's still got a long time ahead of her, and... Um, you know, she's got speed and stamina and, you know, you can just drive her how you feel and um, she just keeps on winning. There's a uh, complete drop-off, really, at uh, the top level of the mares and uh, you, you look at the new emerging ones and she seems to have it all in front of her. Yeah, well, that's true. You know, she's still on the way up. She probably may only have had 20 starts, so she hasn't been over-raced and, um, you know, the future's looking very bright. Like, I think she'll even, you know, keep up with the boys. Let's talk about uh, the race tonight. Uh, we haven't seen her really use have blistering gate speed, uh, but tonight you, you were quite happy just to get herself into a nice rhythm out wide and waited for the dust to settle and, and went forward. Yeah, well, it looks looked that way on paper. You know, you can get yourself caught up in the in the moment, like you drive the favourite and think, oh, I've got to get to the front. But you know, you can bring yourself undone because you know the first two hundred is always the hardest and. If you can stay out of that and then just work forward at your own steam, it, it sort of leaves a, a lot left. And, um, you know, Clayton thought it might have gone a little bit slow last week when it was only the semi. So he said, you know, don't go waiting for him tonight. And, you know, she blasted down the back in 26.9 and still got home 27 and um, didn't have to pull the earplugs or anything. So she still had a bit left. Well done, Chris. Uh, a race of uh, changing uh, events uh, as it unfolded, but it all worked out well for you. Uh, yeah, it did. It was, um, you know, one of those races we didn't look like we could get to the front. Um, but then Harley was a bit naughty on the first turn again, as he was um, at Bendigo, and um, we sort of got left without cover. But then lucky enough that he come off and got the 1-1, one -one, so he travelled beautiful there, and the speed was on all the way, and... You know, 155 mile rate for little babies on a night like this is just super. He uh, got beaten first up after that little bit of a break, but obviously uh, he was just working up to the tonight, but he certainly uh, was in tip-top order. Yeah, well, he um, got a bit fired up after his first few runs, so he'd been wearing a cord for a while, and um, he just sort of didn't feel to be letting down. Um, so Clayton, you know, said we'll take it off tonight at the start after he warmed up, and he, he travelled beautifully, and... Uh, when it was time to go, he really let go. Congratulations, Chris. Uh, wonderful performance. I think the last time uh, we spoke, uh, you did mention about this horse. Uh, probably goes best with a sit tonight. Uh, you made sure you came out of the gate, found the pegs first, and quite happy to take the trail, and, and that turned out to be a good move. Yeah, well, you know, he, first up, he was probably a little bit underdone at Kilmore and just got found in the last little bit. And then last week we had to sort of go and park out because just needed to get through and qualify. And um, tonight was always going to be tricky what to do, but um, thought there was going to be plenty of pressure. And, and I, you know, from driving all the other ones, I also know that they're going to keep running and, and get you where you need to go. So it looked the right option and, and, and thankfully it worked out well. He's been a uh, magnificent horse to date, uh, as we heard from Dan, uh, up to uh, very close to that half million dollar mark. Yeah, no, that's for sure. And, he, you know, um, maybe if I had waited a bit longer, he may have won the Victoria Derby as well. But, um, yeah, he's doing a super job and, and uh, he'll, he'll, he'll just keep getting better as he gets older.
Um, that was his uh, 36 start for 12 wins. He had a little stint over uh, in Western Australia and came back. And uh, here she is, the, uh, the Wonder Girl. We're pretty lucky. We've got a lot of Wonder Girls. Karen Manning, we've got Kima Frenny. Now, is this your first group one? Yes. Yes, it is. I, I was thinking to myself, I don't know if Kima's actually driven a group one winner and uh, this is it. How special is that? Oh, it's so special. I, I, yeah, I can't um, explain how much this means to me tonight. And, you know, I can't thank Dominic enough for, you know, trusting a junior driver with, with this horse. And uh, I'm just so grateful for um, his trust and, you know, what aches, um, what, what opportunities aches been given me. And, yeah, it's just, it means the world. I know it does, uh, and we'll have a chat a bit more about it in a moment. I'll let you uh, just have a get your thoughts. Uh, we'll talk about the race firstly. Uh, what, what a great performance by this horse. You got parked in the breeze. He's been racing really well, probably over racing, but really going well. Uh, he came back from Western Australia. Uh, Ross Oliveri had him there for a while, and uh, he came back in great order. And your teams looked after him exceptionally well. And uh, tonight, he got parked in the breeze, and you would have probably been thinking to yourself in the run, I'm in a bit of trouble here. Oh, yeah, a little bit. But see, um, last week when he was in the breeze, he fought on really well, too. And uh, he, he just, what he does, he, he just gets a little bit too keen. And I'm basically a passenger on him. But the good thing about him, he just keeps um, boxing on. Like, he just he doesn't lay down. He's such a little bulldog. And um, he proved that tonight. But probably, you know, he, he's just towing me around out there. And I just let him do whatever he wants to do. He, uh, he fought on well. You had Jillaby Kung Fu on one side, Sir Letty getting up on the inside of you, uh, but uh, he wasn't going to let him run past. No, nah, no, nah, that, that's what he does. Like, this is his um, fourth run back now, and he's just, you know, um, keep improving with every single run, and uh, I'm just so grateful to be able to drive a horse like him. The uh, ups and downs of uh, being a driver, uh, it, uh, it can be tough going. Uh, you've had plenty of those during the year, but uh, tonight you come here, Hurricane Harley draws the pole. Um, the, your worst nightmare probably turned up on the first turn. Yeah, no, you know, you can have your ups and downs, but, um, you know, we're, we've got to the, nearly to the end of the night and it's a, and it's a big up. This girl here, uh, Emma, was pretty upbeat about her chances, as was Bill, and uh, she didn't let you down. Uh, came out of the gate well, found the lead, and travelled strong all the way through. Yeah, no, that's right. You know, she did travel really good tonight. You know, she was, she actually done it really easy, and you know, and I'd like to thank Emma and Clayton and Bill and Ann, um, you know, for putting me on this horse tonight. It's been a uh, great year. Uh, you've uh, topped off. Uh, you've had a great affinity with these uh, fillies and mares, haven't you? With uh, with your own girl, and uh, and now this one. Yeah, no, that's right. I have a great year, you know. These are top-class fillies and these are the ones that to be driving. And uh, Clayton and Emma have given you a great opportunity, Mark? Yeah, they've given me a great opportunity from the day dot, um, you know, and, and it's worked to, to this today, which I'm really grateful of. Yeah. Well done. Uh, change of luck for this horse. He's... Uh, had uh, very little luck in recent times. He's either been getting attacked or things just haven't panned out well. But tonight, a little bit more uh, control tempo really helped him. Yeah, that's right. No, he's been a model of consistency since, um, you know, returning back to Alan's care after a stint in Tasmania. He's done a fantastic job with this horse. And yeah, his last couple of runs just haven't quite been, uh, gone quite to plan um, for him. But um, the horse has still performed very creditably um, under the circumstances. And yeah, tonight sort of looked like he could get a relatively comfortable lead and he always thrives on the short trip. And um, yeah, so I knew uh, um, under those circumstances, he'd be hard to beat. Tell you what, you had to work uh, a little bit extra for your money tonight because I don't think he was that switched on in front. Yeah, no, he makes me work for it. I tell you, he's, uh, he's hard work, but he, um, he just waits for him, and when he sees him, he, he gets going then. But, um, yeah, I, I had concerns along the back, I must admit. Well, I must admit, watching the heat the other day, I think around the 400, I, I thought, oh, well, you're spent. You're going to uh, drop out here. And, uh, like, you're sort of looking at uh, all the swoopers and everything uh, around you, and then half up the straight there, you are still in front, and they can't get past you. So tonight, when uh, you're under pressure at the 400, I thought, well, if uh, he repeats what he did the other day, you'll kick on, and that's exactly what he did. Yeah, that's right. He struggles on the bends a bit, and he, he's no star, but if he can keep sort of racing quite tough like that, he'll bully his way through a couple of grades.
Yeah, raced by the late uh, Jack Munnerly and uh, Jack, who uh, many of us uh, knew for uh, a very long time, uh, great uh, supporters of uh, many of the stables, and, and Joan Davies being one of those stables, and his late wife as well, Nola, um, you know, very sadly missed people, uh, lovely people, and nice, uh, you know, I'm sure Jack will be looking down, uh, looking at this horse tonight and uh, thinking, uh, nice to see him win. Yeah, you know, they're great horses, Nola Rama and John Rama, just to name a few, you know, but... Um, uh, they were great people and they were great um, supporters of the industry and um, the industry's worse off without people like them, that's for sure. Vincent shoots clear now. Is this a star on the rise? Vincent brains them. Vincent by 15. How big was that, Vincent? That was outstanding. Heaven Rock Titan better, it's an all-star show in the Auckland Cup and Vincent, Vincent too good.